James 4 verse 9. Grieve, mourn and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. What does repentance mean to you? Last week I asked a question about whether salty water and fresh water can come out of a, the same spring. In other words, how does our behavior demonstrate the love and the grace that God has shown us? Does it highlight it or does it subtract from it? Rick Stacy tells the story of a man called Ken Bailey. Ken was a, a laborer on the Alaska pipeline back in the, the mid-70s. He worked up in the icy cold for a year and came back home and decided to visit church. The first Sunday he walked through the doors and he sat in the back seat and he had a beard, he looked like a, he looked like a grizzly bear and perhaps a man that would never become a Christian. That morning the gospel was preached and an invitation was given. The instant the music started playing, Ken became overcome and he came rushing down the aisle. Tears came down his face as he gave his life to Jesus. The next Sunday, he came back to the services and he was dressed in a suit, clean shaven, no beard. And when someone asked him what caused him to shave and dress, he said, Jesus changed me on the inside and I want people to know it. So I changed the outside. The question I want to leave with you today is, what needs to change on the outside to reflect what Jesus has done for us on the inside? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.